The Bob R-373 and the Patriot Pac-3 systems are both advanced surface-to-air missile systems designed to counter aerial and ballistic missile threats. Yet they differ significantly in design philosophy, operational capabilities, and intended deployment scenarios. The Iranian-made Bob R-373, first operational in 2019, is a long-range road mobile missile defense system. Designed as a domestic alternative to Russia's S-300 and purportedly a competitor to the S-400, the Bavar 373 emphasizes flexibility and indigenization. Utilizing Sayad-4 missiles housed in rectangular canisters, it can engage targets at altitudes between 27 and 30 kilometers and ranges up 300 kilometers in its latest version. A notable feature of the Bavar 373 is its phased array radar system, particularly the Mirage 4 radar, which can detect targets up to 450 kilometers away and track 200 simultaneously, according to Iranian claims. The radar system employs fuzzy logic techniques to enhance target detection and discrimination, aiming to counter a variety of aerial threats, including fifth-generation aircraft. The mobility of the system, mounted on the Zaljana 1010 truck, allows for rapid redeployment, a critical advantage in dynamic combat environments. On the other hand, the US-made Patriot Pac-3 represents the culmination of decades of evolution in missile defense technology, with the latest upgrades deployed around the early 2000s. The Pac-3's primary mission has shifted from traditional aircraft interception to robust ballistic missile defense. It incorporates the MIM-104F missile, which features hit-to-kill capability using a K-band active radar seeker. This allows the missile to independently acquire its target in the terminal phase, enhancing its precision against high-speed ballistic missiles. The Pac-3 can engage threats at altitudes of up to 40 kilometers and uses a tailored radar setup, the AN-MPQ-65 radar that significantly improves target detection and discrimination capabilities. The Patriot system also offers networked operations via Link 16, allowing seamless integration with other systems for enhanced situational awareness. Its ability to deploy a mix of Pac-2 and Pac-3 missiles enables it to handle both ballistic missiles and atmospheric threats effectively, albeit with a trade-off in range and explosive payload for the Pac-3 missile. The combat history of the Bavar 373 is relatively sparse compared to the Patriot Pac-3, as the system is a recent addition to Iran's military arsenal. Since its operational unveiling in 2019, Iran has showcased the Bavar 373 in military drills and exercises, particularly in scenarios simulating the defense of critical infrastructure against advanced aerial threats. These exercises are typically designed to demonstrate the system's capabilities, including its ability to detect and track multiple targets simultaneously. Iran has claimed successful live-fire tests of the Bavar 373, including the interception of simulated high-altitude and high-speed targets. The unveiling of the upgraded version in 2022, which Iran claims outperforms the Russian S-400 system highlights the country's focus on continual improvement and modernization. However, these claims remain largely unverified by Indian observers and the system has yet to be tested in actual combat conditions. Its potential deployment in conflict zones, such as Syria or Iraq, would provide a more definitive assessment of its operational effectiveness, but there is limited evidence to suggest it has been actively used in these theaters. The Patriot system, particularly the Pac-3 variant, has an extensive and well-documented combat history. First deployed in the Gulf War of 1991, earlier versions of the Patriot system were used to intercept Iraqi Scud missiles. While the performance during this conflict was mixed, with initial intercept rates heavily debated, the lessons learned led to significant upgrades, culminating in the Pac-3 variant. The Pac-3 system's hit-to-kill capability and advanced radar made it a critical component of U.S. and Allied missile defense strategies in subsequent conflicts. During the 2003 Iraq War, 
the Patriot Pac-3 was credited with successfully intercepting multiple incoming missiles, including short-range ballistic missiles and cruise missiles. The system's ability to integrate into broader air defense networks allowed for coordinated responses to complex threats. More recently, the Pac-3 has been deployed in the Middle East, Europe, and East Asia to counter threats from adversaries such as North Korea, Iran, and various non-state actors. In Saudi Arabia, for example, the Patriot system has been used to intercept ballistic missiles and drones launched by Houthi rebels in Yemen. While the system has achieved notable successes, such as the interception of SCUD-derived ballistic missiles, it has also faced challenges in countering smaller, low-altitude drones and cruise missiles, which are increasingly being used in asymmetric warfare. The 2019 attacks on Saudi oil facilities, attributed to Iranian drones and missiles, highlighted some limitations of the Patriot system, sparking debates about the need for complementary air defense systems to address emerging threats. The Bavar 373 and Patriot Pac-3 both represent significant advancements in air defense technology, but their operational effectiveness is influenced by different factors. The Bavar 373's reliance on indigenous technology and its emphasis on flexibility make it well-suited for Iran's strategic environment, where mobility and multi-role capabilities are paramount. However, the lack of combat testing raises questions about its reliability under real-world conditions, particularly against sophisticated threats such as stealth aircraft or advanced ballistic missiles. In contrast, the Patriot Pac-3's extensive combat history provides a robust track record of performance. Its ability to integrate into larger defense networks and adapt to a wide range of threats underscores its versatility. However, the system's high cost and reliance on a complex logistical infrastructure can be limiting factors, particularly for nations with constrained defense budgets or limited access to advanced technology. The technological sophistication of the Bavar 373 is notable given Iran's constraints in accessing global defense markets. The use of phased array radar and advanced missile guidance systems demonstrates significant domestic innovation. However, the system's true capabilities remain difficult to verify due to the lack of independent evaluations and real-world combat data. The Pac-3, on the other hand, benefits from decades of research and development by the United States and its allies. Its hit-to-kill technology, active radar seeker, and networked operations via Link-16 represent state-of-the-art advancements in missile defense. The system's modular design also allows for continuous upgrades, ensuring its relevance in evolving threat environments. Strategically, the Bavar 373 reflects Iran's broader emphasis on self-reliance and asymmetric warfare. By developing an indigenous system with capabilities rivaling global competitors, Iran aims to deter potential adversaries and project power within its region. The system's mobility and claimed multi-role capabilities make it a flexible asset in Iran's defensive arsenal. The Patriot Pac-3, meanwhile, serves as a cornerstone of U.S. and allied missile defense strategies. Its deployment in key regions, such as the Middle East and East Asia, underscores its role in deterring adversaries and reassuring allies. The system's ability to integrate with other air defense assets, such as THAAD and Aegis, provides a layered defense approach that enhances its overall effectiveness. The Bavar 373 and Patriot Pac-3 represent two distinct approaches to air defense shaped by their respective geopolitical and technological contexts. While the Bavar 373 showcases Iran's ambition to develop a competitive and self-reliant defense system, its untested combat record leaves room for skepticism about its true capabilities. The Patriot Pac-3, with its proven performance and adaptability, remains a benchmark in missile defense, though it is not without limitations. Ultimately, the choice between these systems depends on a nation's specific defense needs, operational priorities, and strategic objectives. For nations seeking a proven and comprehensive missile defense solution, the Pac-3 offers a reliable option, 
albeit at a high cost. Conversely, the Bavar 373 may appeal to nations seeking an alternative that emphasizes mobility and indigenization, though its unverified performance may necessitate caution. <laughs>